Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to a new update by RRG Research for Monday the 3rd of October and I am recording this on Friday the 30th of September. My name is Julius de Campenaar and I am presenting to you from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. There is a lot going on in the markets. Uh, general markets around the world have been dropping in price. And <clears throat> for this video, I want to focus on what's happening in US sectors, because I think that they are painting a picture that is pretty representative for what's happening around the world. Um, we're looking at the RRG for the 11 S&P sectors. And the, um, for those of you who don't know, the dots at the end represent the market capitalization for each sector. So the big dots are big sectors and the smaller dots are smaller sectors. You can see that utilities is a small sector. You can see that real estate is a small sector, but here the big one, that is technology, of course, but also consumer discretionary is a pretty big sector and so is healthcare. So what can we learn from this RRG? Well, first of all, um, the stuff that's, that, that, that's been bad for quite some time and still is and is getting worse is telecom, communication services, materials, and real estate. Those are the three sectors inside the lagging quadrant and they are continuing to move lower on the RS ratio scale. Materials actually had a little bit of a hiccup, but now started to move to the left as well. If we look at financials, they had a pretty good couple of weeks traveling through improving towards leading. But as you can see this week, the last segment on the tail here shows that it is, um, it's not continuing its way and the velocity, which is the distance between the nodes on the tail is really, really short, which, which indicates that the, uh, the momentum, the power behind that move is uh, slowing down. When we look at the tail for consumer discretionary, uh, this, was, this was the odd one out over the last couple of weeks because usually this is a very offensive sector. So usually when the markets come down as they've been doing the last couple of weeks, sector like consumer discretionary um, is usually underperforming and that did not happen. So it was a, uh, it was a bit of a weird constellation, so to say, but that now seems to get back in order uh, as we see consumer discretionary rolling over and starting to lose relative momentum. Information technology, I think that is the most important sector to watch at the moment. <clears throat> it's, al it's always an important sector because it's so big and it drives uh, a large chunk of the S&P 500. But you can see here that over the last couple of weeks, the tail uh, rolled over. Uh, it's still inside the leading quadrant, but very close to crossing over to weakening and then very close to crossing into the lagging quadrant. It is traveling at a negative RRG heading and we don't really like that. <clears throat> what we do see traveling at a positive RRG heading are sectors like utilities, energy and consumer staples and healthcare are curling back up. They are on their way to uh, start moving higher and potentially not even hit that lagging quadrant. The, the important takeaway from this is that these are defensive sectors. So it looks as if defense is back on the move again and is starting to pick up inside the S&P 500 while consumer discretionary and information technology and materials uh, and to a lesser degree real estate are really the offensive sectors. So defense is looking really good while offense is uh, deteriorating. And I think that you need to keep an eye on the information technology sector uh, to keep an eye on the bigger picture. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the individual charts. First, the S&P 500. I think we are at a pretty crucial level for the S&P 500 itself. If you look at the um, previous lows in this case, where support is coming from, you see a cluster of lows here in January. And that was tested again here in July, and we broke that last week. This is a weekly candle chart. And then just a notch lower, 
There is a cluster of highs and lows here in November 2020. It is the extreme low in June and it is last week's extreme low. And we are now pushing against that level. That's in the 3,645, 3,645 area. If you look at the channel that's forming here, I think a break below 3,645 will definitely accelerate, cause an acceleration of the decline in the S&P 500. If we hold here, then we are in for probably a pause in the trend, maybe sideways, maybe a little bit higher, but you can see that the series of lower highs and lower lows is still in play. And that's the downtrend that we're experiencing now. And uh, that has to change that rhythm of higher highs and lower lows. Uh, sorry, that rhythm of lower highs and lower lows need to be reversed into a rhythm of higher highs and higher lows before we can talk about a new uptrend again. Quickly, three individual sectors. Here is information technology, as I just told you. That is the uh, heaviest sector, it's the heavyweight in the S&P 500. It's rolling over on the RRG. And as you can see, it is uh, resembling the levels of the S&P itself. Um, not very surprising given the, uh, given the market cap, but for technology, I think we need to watch 2140. If we, if we close decisively below 2140, on a weekly scale, that opens up a lot more downside possibility for the technology sector. And where technology is going down, it'll be very hard for the S&P 500 to go up. And then <clears throat> two uh, more defensive sectors. Here you see consumer staples. As you can see, even the defensive sectors are pushing against support levels. Um, that shows you how weak this market is at the moment. The big difference between the offensive and the defensive stuff is that the um, RS ratio is still above 100 and the RS momentum is starting to pull up. So it's, it's pulling that tail back towards the leading quadrant. Relative strength is picking up again for a sector like consumer staples. And it is definitely doing that for utilities, which as you could see on the RRG, is the highest ranking sector in terms of RS ratio. It's got the strongest relative trend. And you can see that the price chart is not fantastic and bounced off that resistance near 390. It is actually coming down quite rapidly, um, but the strength is in the relative. The relative is way above 100. Relative momentum is picking up. This sector will soon be hitting the leading quadrant again. And if defensive sectors are in the lead, that's usually not a good sign for the S&P 500. That's it for this week. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week, a new episode for RG Research, same time, same place. Thank you for watching.